Hello, I'm Dr. Jameson Holloway, and today we're going to talk about prostate cancer, nature versus nurture, and why black men are at higher risk. Come along. What is the prostate? The prostate is a gland found only in males. It makes some of the fluid that keeps sperm alive and healthy. It sits just below the bladder, in front of the rectum. The tube that carries urine is called the urethra, and it runs through the prostate. The prostate gland is about the size of a walnut in young males, but it tends to get bigger as males get older. The prostate is a gland that helps make semen, the white milky fluid that carries sperm when the man ejaculates. Muscles in the prostate push semen into the urethra and out through ejaculation. What is prostate cancer? According to the American Cancer Society, prostate cancer begins when a group of cells in the body mutate and begin to grow out of control. In prostate cancer, this uncontrolled growth starts inside the prostate. Some prostate cancers grow gradually, while others grow faster. If the cancer grows enough, it may reach nearby organs or spread throughout the body. Why are black men at a higher risk for development of prostate cancer? Well. Healthcare access disparities are a contributing factor. Distrust of the medical system, social economic challenges, lifestyle induced systemic inflammation, inadequate knowledge, cultural beliefs, and genetics. Black men have significant upregulation of the genes related to inflammatory pathways and downregulation of DNA repair genes. This is directly associated with genetics. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths for black men and maladaptive behaviors cause malignant tumors to grow extremely rapidly. What are the prostate cancer risk factors? There are numerous prostate cancer risk factors. Old age, race and ethnicity, family history, inherited gene changes, diet, obesity, smoking, and chemical exposure. Prostate cancer is rare in men younger than 40, but the chance of having prostate cancer rises rapidly after age 50. About six in 10 prostate cancers are found in men older than 65. Prostate cancer develops more often in African-American men. What are the signs and symptoms? Benign prostate conditions can cause symptoms, but oftentimes men do not experience any signs and symptoms. Some signs and symptoms can be frequent or sudden urge to urinate, especially at night, pain or burning while urinating, weak stream of urine, difficulty urinating, blood in the urine or semen, or painful ejaculation. What test will screen for prostate cancer? The prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is a test used to screen for prostate cancer. Prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is a protein antigen produced only by the prostate gland. And the chance of having prostate cancer increases as the PSA level increases. The average PSA for a man aged 59 and younger should be less than one mg per ml. At age 60 or older, it should be at or below four mgs per ml. At 59 or younger, it should be at or below 2.5 mg's per ml. Does the same prostate-specific antigen or PSA range apply for all men? Not exactly. Black men at younger ages have greater baseline PSAs and have demonstrated higher PSA values at initial prostate cancer diagnosis. Black men carry a higher prostatic tumor value and were four times more likely than white men to develop aggressive metastatic disease. Prostate cancer in black men has a higher growth rate or transforms to more aggressive forms earlier than in white men. At what age should a black man obtain his first PSA test? Black men who elect screening should have a baseline PSA test at ages 40 through 45. Depending on the PSA value and the individual status, annual PSA screenings should be strongly considered. 
Black men in the United States are more likely to be diagnosed and die from prostate cancer than men of any other races and are more likely to be diagnosed at a younger age and with more aggressive disease than white men. Clear evidence indicates the incident of prostate cancer is almost 60% higher and the mortality rate is two to three times greater than what white men experience. There are other methods to screen for prostate cancer, such as the digital rectal exam. The digital rectal exam is where the doctor inserts a gloved, lubricated finger into the rectum to feel for any bumps or hard areas on the prostate that may indicate cancer. Prostate-specific antigen, also known as PSA, is a protein made by cells in the prostate gland, both normal cells and cancer cells. PSA is mostly in semen, but a small amount is also found in the blood. The chance of having prostate cancer goes up as the PSA level goes up. If the initial abnormal test was a digital rectal exam, the next step is typically to get a PSA blood test. There are additional imaging tests of the prostate gland that may be recommended. One, for example, is the transrectal ultrasound, or TRUS. Doctors doing prostate biopsies often rely on the transrectal ultrasound, which creates black and white images of the prostate using sound waves to know where to take the samples from. The magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, multi-parametric method can be used to help determine the extent of the cancer and how aggressive it might be. There are several barriers to prostate cancer screening for black men and we're going to discuss a few of them. Racism, intergenerational poverty, substandard housing, limited educational attainment, limited access to healthy food, neighborhood violence, and exposure to environmental toxins are among key determinants of health that contribute to disparities for black men to be screened for prostate cancer. Social determinants of health attributed to black men being higher risk for prostate cancer are structural, social, environmental, health, and biologic. Black men are more likely to experience a delayed diagnosis, less access to treatment, and are less likely to be treated during the early stages of prostate cancer growth. Early diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer increases positive health outcomes. Black men are also diagnosed at younger ages in later stages of disease. Black men are three times more likely to die from prostate cancer than any other race. There is clear evidence that this population group is underdiagnosed, undertreated, and systemic disparities limiting access to care contributes to increased prostate cancer mortality. What is the role of the spouse, the family, and the community to help facilitate black men being screened for prostate cancer. Close relationships play a key role in prostate cancer management. Let's discuss the role of the spouse, the family, and the community. There are three key roles of women, mostly housewives, in black men's prostate cancer screening and treatment decision making. And that is of the counselor, coordinator, confidant. As a counselor, women provide advice on information for men to make informed decisions about screening and treatment options. As a coordinator, women help men to schedule medical appointments, obtain prostate care, and eat healthy. Finally, as a confidant, women provide emotional support and reassurance. Women and or spouses empower men. Women and or spouses play a particularly influential role in men's cancer-related decision-making serving as a source of information and supporting how men interpret and use prostate cancer information to make decisions. Women and or spouses play three key roles in black men's decision-making regarding prostate cancer screening, diagnosis, or treatment. Once again, as the counselor, offering advice or information as the coordinator, promoting healthy behaviors and arranging or facilitating appointments and as the confidant, 
providing emotional support and reassurance. We need to begin to think about innovative and creative ways to begin to bridge the gaps in healthcare disparities. How do we bridge the gap in disparities? Patient navigation is an evidence-based intervention that can help reduce racial and ethnic disparities in cancer care. Navigation has been shown to eliminate disparities and delays in diagnosis, treatment initiation, and plans of care. Cultural humility takes a learning-oriented approach, curiosity and self-reflection over mastery, to working with people from diverse cultural backgrounds and emphasizes recognition of patients' cultural perspectives as equally valid and critical reflection on how systemic issues and power dynamics impact healthcare. Honoring patients' cultural values and lived experiences can shift power dynamics and make patients feel more welcomed and open to engage in healthcare. My friends, here are a few recommendations. Knowledge is power. Take control, you have to ask questions. Educate yourself, get screened. Integration of population-based interventions to include more holistic approaches improve outcomes among black men impacted by prostate cancer. Clinical decisions should involve oncologists conducting more population studies to observe the relationship between social determinants and patient outcomes. What should black men know about how screening for prostate cancer is conducted? Prostate cancer screening should be based on shared decision-making between the patient and the healthcare provider. The American Cancer Society recommends that men thinking about getting screened for prostate cancer learn as much as they can so they can make an informed decision based on available information. Discussions with your healthcare provider and their own views on the possible benefits, risk, and limits of screening. Trust is the most important component of any interaction. For the black man, the importance of trust in selecting a healthcare provider is very important in the decision making process and treatment process. So make sure you do your homework. Make sure you interview your provider. Make sure that you develop a lane of trust that is reciprocated. Make sure that that provider understands your beliefs, understands your values, understands the cultural component of how you view your health care. Prostate cancer awareness saves lives. I encourage you, if you fall between the ages of 40 and 54 and you have yet to be screened for prostate cancer, please get screened. Prostate cancer awareness saves lives. Again, I'm Dr. Jameson Holloway, and I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for taking action and getting involved. And I also want to encourage you to go out there and have that conversation with those men in your lives about getting screened for prostate cancer. If you have any questions, I want to direct you to cancer.org. There is a lot of information provided by the American Cancer Society that will help you navigate the process of getting screened for prostate cancer and help you with some decisions. But it's also very important. It's a, that's an individual, an individual decision that you need to make. And I recommend that you sit down with your healthcare provider, you sit with your family, and you discuss it and discuss what works best for you. What's going to be in line with your beliefs? What's going to be in line with your values? Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Dr. Jamerson Holloway, checking out.